Good day everyone. So uh, in this video I thought I would uh, show you how to run OpenCFace standalone. Uh, and the reason for this is uh, I have this uh, Blender add-on uh, here, I'll show you, that I use for uh, VTuber tracking. And uh, you can use OpenCFace as a tracking method, but uh, I <laughs> have not provided any guides on how to run it uh, standalone or how to use it. So I'm gonna show you this. Uh, <laughs> show you that in this video. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's start. Oh, uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, so uh, we're gonna need two things. Uh, we're gonna need Python and uh, OpenCFace itself. So we're gonna start with uh, downloading and installing Python. So we go to download and download uh, free for and uh, run. Uh, so here in the installer, uh, it's very important you check this uh, box here with the, the add python to path, otherwise uh, it will not work. Uh, and then we just do install. Uh, in the meantime, we can uh, get the uh, open C face. So we go to open C face page and uh, click the green code button or <laughs> whatever color it is, and then uh, download zip. Uh, and then open the zip. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Here we go. Let's drag this to the desktop. And this one is done now. Perfect. We can hide this. Uh, so we open our files here. Uh, here we have a few files. Uh, if you are very lucky, you can uh, run this make exe.bat, can I zoom in? No, I can't zoom in. Uh, this make exe.bat here, you run this, and it will uh, like create a face tracker.exe that you can run. But uh, for me, it uh, didn't work, so I have to do it the manual way, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. Uh, so first, we uh, click somewhere in empty space to deselect if we have anything selected, and then we hold the shift on keyboard, Hold shift and right click in empty space and you get this uh, open PowerShell window button. So we open this one. Uh, we're gonna do some uh, fancy stuff. Uh, first we're gonna see if we have Python, if it worked. So, so I do Python dash dash version and it says I have 3.11 installed, which is uh, good. Uh, so now we can start with uh, making like an environment for Python. So we can store all our, uh, I guess, dependencies for the face tracker. So we do Python dash m uh, vnv. So dash m for module, load module, vn virtual environment. Uh, and then we can, which uh, folder to make it in. So we can just make uh, vnv again. Now this one will create uh, create this uh, folder here, VNV. Uh, great, now we want to activate this environment. So we do VNV and then uh, tab button. So it will kind of auto complete. Uh, and then uh, what's it scripts activate. So you, you can always do tab to auto complete if you start writing something in the console. We run this, enter. So now we have the green text here, VN, which means that the environment is activated. So now we're gonna install our dependencies. So we go back to the GitHub and uh, scroll down. Now we have a dependency list here. So I know already, <laughs> because I tried this before, that uh, it says that uh, Python 3.10 and above, we have 3.11, so it should be this command we run. But for some reason, uh, it doesn't work, but the uh, the old command works for uh, three six to three nine. So I'm just gonna copy paste this, copy paste, enter, and it will uh, install our dependencies. Okay, now it's done. Perfect. So if we wanna try to use the face tracker now, like uh, we're ready to use OpenC face now, so we can do face tracker. So face tracker.py, it's uh, 
this file here. So if we just uh, run this straight off, uh, it will like uh, tell that it gets frames or it does something. But uh, this is the wrong camera. I have a capture card. So it's probably opening the capture card instead of the camera. So if I do uh, the same, but dash, dash C and then one instead. Zero is the first camera, so one is the second camera. So if I do one here, now I see, now it actually tracks my uh, face. So if I cover the camera now, it like uh, disappears. But if I remove my hand, it uh, finds my face again. So this one, uh, this one works now. I can show you even in the in this one. If I uh, stop my tracking here and change to open C face, so we start this uh, like this. So uh, ah, it's a bit uh, weird, but this is uh, open C face tracking now. So if I if I stop this one, it uh, <laughs> it stops. But uh, if we start it again, it will uh, get going like this. There we go. Uh, okay, so we, how do we make this more uh, usable? Uh, we can make a. Wait, where did it go? Okay, here. Uh, I'm just gonna quit it. Uh, we can make a small little uh, script file that will uh, start it automatically. So we do uh, right click in empty space, new uh, text document. Now we want to rename this to, now we already have a run here, so we can do start instead, start.but. We want to change the file name extension, yes, because this is a script now, and not a text file. So we have start.but, uh, and then we right click, uh, edit. So now we're gonna do the same steps we did here, kinda. So first we want to activate our virtual environment, so we do call and then we have a we can actually copy paste this one mark right click control v and then we do the, the face tracker as well copy paste and now save this so now if we go in here and press the start it will uh, it will start so uh, yeah that's all for this video. I hope it. Uh, I hope you get it working. You can uh, ask in the comments if it gets uh, like yeah messy, or if it doesn't work. Oh, another thing as well. Like yeah, if you don't want the uh, the spam, it spams text when you start it. Like this. Uh, like all all this text, you can uh, you can remove this text if you do. Uh, we add here dash s one. So s is uh, silent. So we do s one. And then we start it again. So now we don't get any. Yeah, now we don't get any text. Uh, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thank you for seeing. See you another time. Bye bye.